So good morning and welcome. This morning's commencement marks the 144th time that St. Peter's Prep has gathered to award diplomas. Thank you. <laughs> and it provides me one last opportunity on behalf of the entire prep community to thank our graduates and their families for giving us the privilege of being part of their lives for these past four years. Our program today will begin in prayer. The prep's director of campus ministry, Mr. John Dockerty, will give our invocation. In a moment, I will ask all to please stand for our prayer and afterward to remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. So please stand and invite Mr. Dougherty forward. Good morning, everyone. Starting last year, Jesuit schools around the world have celebrated the Ignatian Year, commemorating 500 years since St. Ignatius of Loyola was struck by a cannonball in May of 1521, and began his journey to finding God. It's a great story, and just as important as what happened next. In May of 1522, Ignatius looked very different from the brash young man who took a cannonball to the leg. He exchanged his fine clothes for a simple pilgrim's robe, his sword for a walking stick. Instead of a castle, he now lived in a cave near the town of Manresa where he would spend 11 months in prayer and reflection, learning to listen to God's voice in the depths of his heart. A year from now, your lives will also look very different. Like St. Ignatius, there are parts of your life from high school that you will have to leave behind. You may find yourself discovering new interests, new skills, and new questions. A lot will change. But I hope you also hold on to the most important things from your prep experience. Hold on to the relationships, the friends that you've made. Hold on to the lessons that you've learned, the desire to learn and question that you developed in the classroom. Hold on to your desire to serve, to make a difference for people on the margins. And most of all, remember that you are loved Remember to find time for silence and reflection, and remember to listen for God's voice in the depths of your heart. And know that you will be in our hearts as you head out on the next stage of your journey. And so let us pray. Loving God, we pray today for the class of 2022. We pray in thanksgiving for the experiences they have shared together, the bonds that they have formed, and the community that they found at PrEP. We thank you, Lord, for everyone who has encouraged and supported these graduates as they have grown into the young men who stand before us today. We are grateful to the parents, siblings, friends, teachers, and coaches who offer guidance to these young men on their journey to adulthood. And lastly, we pray for you, gentlemen, that as you move ahead, you remain open to growth, dedicated to service, and always willing to strive for the majus. We ask God to be with you as you go forth from St. Peter's, and we pray that you will always be aware of his love for you. Bless us, Father, and help each of us to never stray from our responsibility to you and to one another. We ask for this as we ask for all things, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Again, it is my great honor to preside at these 144th commencement exercises for St. Peter's Preparatory School. We'll begin with a couple of introductions. I'm joined on the stage today from your left to right by Ms. Emma Bagg, our registrar, Mr. Doherty, our director of campus ministry, Father John Mullen, representing the Jesuit community, Dr. Michael Gomez, our president, Mr. Philip McGovern, chairperson of our board of trustees, Ms. Erin Stark, chairperson of the math department who will deliver the address to the graduates later in the program, Mr. John Morris, our dean of students, and Mr. Chris Caulfield, our vice principal. To my left and right, on either side of the stage, are preps distinguished faculty, administration, and staff. And by far, the most important people here today, the class of 2022. By many standards, the class of 2022 has been an exceptional one here at St. Peter's Prep. For members of the faculty, staff, and administration, particularly for those of us who have been at Prep for some time, each class has its own personality, its own spirit, a style all its own. And challenged as they were, as we were, by the global COVID-19 pandemic these past three school years, you, the class of 2022, have nonetheless demonstrated remarkable resilience and great optimism as you navigate these uncharted waters. The graduates of the class of 22 embody all that Jesuit education looks to foster. You are open to growth, intellectually competent, religious, loving, and committed to doing justice. To begin our program today, we would like to acknowledge some academic achievements of the class. We are particularly proud to mention that 106 members of this class are graduating today with honors, that is, a GPA of 3.7 or higher, or cum laude, and high honors, a 4.0 GPA or higher, magna cum laude, for maintaining that superior grade point average over four years of prep. This is noted in the program today, and as the graduates are recognized on stage, the students will be designated cum laude or magna cum laude. In a moment, I will ask Mr. Caulfield and Mr. Morris to announce a number of special student awards. So each recipient should either stand at his place or come forward to the stage as directed by Mr. Caulfield or Mr. Morris. So I'd ask Mr. Caulfield to come forward to begin these awards. The National Merit Scholarship Competition acknowledges the academic achievement of high school students based on PSAT results. Only the top 5% of more than 1.5 million high school students eligible for National Merit Scholarships are recognized by that organization each year. PREP is extremely proud to have 10 students who were commended in the 2021 National Merit Scholarship Competition. Please hold your applause until the entire roster has been called. I ask the following to stand for recognition. Taylor Brenchens, Charles Dino, Logan Elliott, James Farkas, Gage Luckin, Nicholas Marisic, Alexander Puhak, Gabriel Russo, Antonio Vivero. Congratulations. One student has been recognized as a finalist in the 2022 National Merit Scholarship Competition. I ask Ayush Suri to please stand. Congratulations. This school year, PREP has joined with Jesuit Schools Network, with the Jesuit Schools Network, to recognize the first cohort of global citizens among this year's graduating classes at Jesuit high schools in North America. Through a combination of coursework and co-curricular activities, global citizens are those who continuously seek to deepen their awareness of their place and responsibility in an increasingly interconnected world. 
both locally and globally, and who stand in solidarity with others in the pursuit of a sustainable earth and a more humane world as true companions in the mission of reconciliation and justice are recognized by PREP and JSN. This year, we are proud to bestow this honor on three members of the class of 2022. Please stand and be recognized. Lucas Yurtberg, Thomas Matos, and Alexander Puhak. Congratulations. <laughs> Finally, I call your attention to the program which indicates the 62 members of the senior class who were nominated by our faculty to the National Honor Society, as well as the members of the Science Honor Society and the Language Honor Societies. They were chosen because of their past, present, and expected future demonstration of outstanding scholarship, character, leadership, and service. Congratulations to each of them. Please stand and be recognized. Don't be shy. Further academic awards will be announced when diplomas are conferred. I'll now invite Mr. Morris up. At PrEP, we talk frequently about educating the whole person, putting a premium on achieving excellence in all we do and recognizing God in all things. Those who combine excellence in academics and athletics model a great commitment and enthusiasm for life both inside and outside of the classroom, refusing to compromise their pursuit of excellence in any way. For participating in one or more varsity sports while maintaining a cumulative GPA of 3.7 or higher, thus graduating with honors, we are pleased to recognize the following seniors with the St. Peter's Prep Scholar Athlete Award. Please stand as your name is called and please hold your applause until all recipients have been recognized. Don Benjamin Ang, Mark Armstrong, Connor Bankuti, Dane Barnes, Christopher Benkovitz, Michael Benkovitz, Matthew Blumgren, Luke Bradley, Agostino Chiaravalotti, Nicholas Cipello, Raul Cortinez, Justin Q, Charlie Dino, Adam Dominguez, Blaze Edwards, Logan Elliott, James Farkas, Andrew Fernandez, Rory Freeman, Christopher Liato, Sidney Green, Patrick Grew, Simon Haidas, Ryan Lawler, Cyril Maliekel, Nicholas Marusik, Marek Miskevich, Diogo Montalvo, Jonathan Muller, Jack O'Donnell, Connor O'Flanagan, Guyton Panapinto, Joshua Pascal, Giuseppe Piede, Jeremiah Polanco, Alexander Puhak, Sebastian Ramache, Jason Rowe, Brandon Schimmel, Jason Schreiber, Joshua Schulman, Nima Sherpa, Alexander Solechito, Ayush Suri, Batu Tumruk, Griffin Wagner, Kevin Whitworth, Nasir Wimberly, Tyler Wong, and Maximilian Zwiener. Congratulations. As today's graduates can attest, the performing arts at St. Peter's Prep are flourishing, and our performance ensembles regularly earn accolades each year. This year, we are pleased to announce that Nicholas Matos an actor in several prep productions 
has been nominated for a Paper Mill Playhouse Rising Star Award in the category of Outstanding Leading Performer for his portrayal of Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, in this year's production of Jekyll and Hyde. Please stand and be rec recognized. Congratulations, Nicholas. Additionally, we are pleased to recognize Andre Oben and Fitzroy Legister, who are the recipients of the 2022 Hudson County Interscholastic Athletic League Scholar Athlete Award. Andre and Fitzroy. And at the state level, the 2022 New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association Award was given to Mark Armstrong. Please stand and be recognized. At this time, we present two awards in memory of prep alumni who distinguished themselves as scholar athletes. John McGovern, who died in 1988, was an extremely well-liked and respected member of the class of 1980. He was especially admired for his leadership and his dedication to the spirit of teamwork that he brought daily to the prep basketball program. A number of his classmates created this award to be presented annually to a scholar athlete who best exemplified those attributes. And this year, we are pleased to present the John McGovern Award to Nick Marusik. Please come up, Nicholas. Jeff Cachel, a late member of the class of 1989, was an honor student and four-year athlete who competed in our baseball pro program. Jeff was a fierce competitor whose perseverance, commitment, and leadership embodied a true prep scholar athlete. This award in his name is presented to that prep student athlete who most exemplified the traits and qualities that made Jeff such a respected member of our school community. And this year, the Cachel Memorial Student Act Athlete Award is presented to Jack O'Donnell. Congratulations to these and to all of our graduates on their achievements. At this point, I'm pleased to introduce our speaker for the class of 2022. A native of Hoboken, New Jersey, Logan Elliott came to prep from the Mustard Seed School in Hoboken. He has been a Sheehan Scholar and a consistent honors student throughout his time at prep, as well as being involved in the Global Initiatives Board, Dramatics, SPPAC and the Science National Honor Society. He has also served as a leader for our community, as co-editor-in-chief of the Petroc, president of the Environmental Club, president of the Asian Society. Outside of Preps Halls, Logan volunteers at the Bronx Zoo and Hoboken's CERT program. Please join me in welcoming our speaker for the class of 2022, Logan Elliott. We are class making history. 
When we first walked through those glass doors on Grand and Warren as prospective students, we were greeted with the phrase, and if you come to prep, you'll be part of the sesquicentennial class. But other than a fun word to pronounce, I didn't understand what sesquicentennial truly meant. Our sesquicentennial is not just another milestone anniversary for our school, but a reminder of the generations of prep students who have come before us, setting the tone as men for others since 1872. It hardly seems possible that in a few short months, we'll be setting off to study all across the nation and globe. But when we started out at prep and looked around our classrooms at Ignite, many of us were naive and anxious. I still remember my freshman self watching a YouTube tutorial on how to tie a tie in the basement before class just so I wouldn't get jugged. I remember looking up to the seniors as grown men, confident and cool. But here we are, four years later, maybe not always cool, well I'll speak for myself, but certainly changed. Back then, our friends were still strangers. Our futures were unknown. Mark hadn't yet broken the all-time scoring record. We hadn't had to copy endless chapter summaries from Mr. Keating's World Civ class. We hadn't screamed at the top of our lungs at a football game at Caven Point and made it all the way to victory in MetLife. Our mothers hadn't rushed to sign up for mom prom. We hadn't experienced Father Mullen's iconic two-hand handshake. <laughs> Blaze hadn't bowled a 300. We hadn't strutted down the runway for the prep fashion show. We hadn't quickly opened emails to see if our friends' faces were plastered on the security camera pictures. <laughs> and we hadn't lived as prep men. I think about the feeling of walking into the Hoboken light rail station every morning with swarms of classmates from all over New Jersey and New York. I still feel that sense of camaraderie that never fails to put a smile on my face. In those early morning hours, we were all connected to each other, bonded by our shared daily future of walking prep's halls. Prep shaped us. It made us more articulate, more athletic, more intelligent, more caring. To go to a school every day where people will be late to their classes just so that they can hold the door open for you, creates a culture of compassionate people. That caring environment, which we continue to foster as seniors, help people feel supported and safe at prep. Over the course of our prep careers, we step into the spotlights. Students became captains of clubs they never played before high school, sorry, sports they never played before high school. Some of us became leaders of clubs we never would have thought of doing as freshmen. Our support for each other helped us step confidently into the light. We took on leadership with pride. Although we may no longer be sitting next to each other in the commons, our care for one another is something that will never leave my heart, mind, and soul. Let's carry it with us, knowing that the door will always be held open for us at Grandin Warren. The expression, this is the end of a chapter of our lives, is something I've heard a lot senior year. Some of you may even use it for your Instagram caption in a few days. But I would argue that this transition is not just the beginning of a new chapter, but instead the beginning of a whole new book. In a few short months, we will be headed off to college and eventually go on to live very different lives. This change is not just flipping another page, but instead closing the book on this part of our lives and opening a new one, a sequel with new characters and events. But we'll have moments of flashbacks, returning for reunions, seeking those spark notes of the past, but just like when you finish watching a movie or reading a book for the first time, it will never be the same again. We'll have small mental mementos from prep pop up in our mind like AMDG or Magis. From this day forward, we will forever be bonded by our memories of a time we will now never get back. Our diversity made our prep experience truly special. A diversity which continues to lead each of us on very different paths from one another. But instead of feeling sad or anxious that this time is over, let's look forward to starting that new book, just as we did freshman year, as we all sat in that scorching barn, nervous about starting high school. Get excited for new opportunities and people, and remember that just as our high school experience passed us by, so too will college and the rest of our lives. And let's remember all the good that came from seeking a new experience, when each of us chose to come to a private, all-boys Jesuit school in Jersey City to start our lives as prep men. Bask in the fact that you don't know what the future holds today because just as we learned at prep, nobody can truly understand what an experience will be like without first going through it. I would like to challenge our class, the sesquicentennial, to continue to make history. We are a resilient class who said goodbye to departing faculty, 
coaches and staff, and who continue to learn through a worldwide pandemic. I don't think our class gets enough credit for just how much we have all persevered. Although we got to have many of the traditions other grades missed out on because of COVID, freshman year, graduation, we missed a lot of the mundane, the everyday transitions of prep, a time when students really make a lot of their impact here. Yet we still manage to leave legacies. Finally, if there's one thing I could ask you to remember, it's this. Let's not make our sesquicentennial graduation the most historic thing about our class. As we move on from prep, let's remember the lessons we learned, the hardships we faced, and use that resilience, that power, to move mountains with the faith that has grown in each of us like little mustard seeds. Already starting to dissolve into fond memories, our prep experience will continue to shape us and push us in new directions, ones which we should greet with openness and kindness. Like a marauder coming up from below deck and rising up into the light, let's shift our gaze, switch our eye patch to our other eye, and continue on our historic route. Prep for life. Thank you. Logan, thank you. Thank you for your words today and your many contributions to PrEP over the last four years. On behalf of the faculty, we are proud to present you the Vincent J. Kennedy Class of 39 Award as the speaker for the Class of 2022. Congratulations. Next, we are proud to present a number of awards to outstanding members of the senior class for their work these past four years. The Reverend John E. Brown ASJ Class of 46 Award was inaugurated in 1998 on the occasion of Father Browning's death. Father Browning was a Jersey City native and a member of the PrEP Class of 46, and as a young priest, he returned to PrEP where for the next 35 years he served as the driving force behind the Higher Achievement Program. He was also a teacher, counselor, principal, and his work was characterized by a tremendous sense of humility and service. This award is presented to the young man modeling the virtues that Father Browning lived with such distinction. Courage, wisdom, and humble service in the pursuit of justice. Today, we are proud to present the John Browning Award to Ellis Reed. Please come forward. Our next award is the Jerome Peterson Class of 92 Award. Jerome Peterson passed away in February 2001, and while his life may have been short, his impact at PrEP was anything but. His time at Grandin Warren as a student, athletic trainer, and hat teacher was characterized by good humor, deep faith in God, and selfless generosity to the PrEP community. Jerome had the gift of bringing people together, and in him all found common grounds. He was a man for all seasons, and this award is presented to the senior who models the virtues that Jerome Peterson lived with great distinction. The gentle manner, good humor, faith, and generous service to prep. Today we present the Jerome Peterson Award ex aequo to Charles Dino, and Biagio Guido. Please come forward.
The Agape Award was established by an alumnus and his wife, and its name holds particular significance in the Christian lexicon. Agape is Greek for the word, word used to describe God's unconditional love for all people, a love that goes beyond what is fair, deserved, or even rational. A love modeled by the Good Shepherd, who leaves the 99 for the one, and the father who welcomes home the prodigal son. This award recognizes a graduate actively living a life of faith shaped by the Gospels. We are proud to present the Agape Award to Matthew Blomgren. We now continue with the Jesuit Schools Network Award. The Jesuit Schools Network comprises the some 65 American Jesuit high schools and supports the work of each school in educating young people of competence, conscience, and compassion in the Ignatian tradition. This award honors a graduate who exhibits the characteristics of Jesuit education, one who is intelligent, open to growth, religious, loving, and committed to doing justice. We are proud to present the Jesuit Schools Network Award ex aequo to Dermot Alvidrez and Cyril Maliaco. Finally, we present the Reverend Francis J. Shalou Award. Father Shalou was a longtime member of the PrEP community who served for more than 30 years as a guidance counselor, principal, and director of alumni relations. This award is presented annually to the graduate who best exemplifies loyalty to the ideals of St. Peter's, an outstanding spirit of service to the PrEP community, and the personal development characterized in the phrase, a man for others. We are proud to present the Shalou Award this year to Connor Bancudi. A faculty speaker for prep graduation is no easy task as the choices are far too numerous. This year, we welcome Erin Stark to this role. Erin grew up in Cranford, New Jersey, and is a proud graduate of Mount St. Mary's Academy in Plainfield and Douglas College at Rutgers University, where she received her BA in mathematics. She came to prep in the fall of 2006 teaching Algebra 2 to juniors and moderating the yearbook. Over the years, she has moderated the Engineering Club, has loved chaperoning trips to art museums, the opera, ski trips, and retreats. And at the same time, she received her MA in secondary education from St. Peter's University. For the past 10 years, she has served as chair of the math department, a team of which she is particularly proud to be part. Please join me in welcoming Mick Stark to the podium for the address this year to the graduates. Mr. McGovern and the Board of Trustees, Dr. Gomez, Principal D'Angelo, my beloved colleagues, most importantly on this day, the class of 2022, with your parents, 
guardians, family, friends. We are sending you off with our last official words of love, faith, and wisdom. We are very proud of you, prep class of 2022. You are better for having met each other, and the prep is better for having known you. We are sending you out into the world with your limitless potential. We are removing the particular set of training wheels we call high school. Go unbounded, untethered, unhindered with your brilliance, your faith, and your extraordinary talents. Take time to appreciate the gifts and challenges of your Jesuit education. Yes, gifts and challenges. I say gifts because you are welcomed by a community that seriously practices cura personalis, the care of the whole person. I have been privileged to watch many of you doing the hard work of figuring out who you are at your core, how you learn, what you believe, how to be authentically yourself, how to work harder than you ever have towards important goals. I say challenges of a Jesuit education because you have experienced a community where faith is called to do justice. We are asked to do more, and now you know to do more. This is a tall order, as pandemic times have thrown a glaring light at active injustices in our world. Racism, war, poverty. You are graduating during a time where a just world seems pushed well beyond reach, and in a world divided that cannot agree on how to move forward. We are not asking you to fix all the things. I'm asking you to do two things. One, keep your eyes open to these injustices. Two, choose a small corner of your world to focus on. It is all very daunting, but I am hopeful because we are sending you, the class of 2022, out into this world. We are sending you out into the world knowing how to read critically, listen carefully, and love deeply. In no small part, you have the prep staff and faculty to thank. I am beyond grateful and humbled to be a part of this brilliant, earnest, dedicated team that brings me joy every day. We are sending you with what I hope is a great love of your authentic self, a desire to work towards the common good, and gratitude for your lived high school experience. But for today, Today is a time for you and your families and teachers and loved ones to celebrate your journey to this point and to celebrate the whole person you are becoming. Your parents, guardians, and loved ones have been imagining this day for far longer than you might imagine, and it arrived for them faster than they expected. Celebrate in gratitude and joy with them today. Class of 2022, when you converge upon prep to begin your high school career, some of you might be third generation prep legacy, having grown up in prep attire and going to football games since you can walk. Some of you have found your way here with a hometown friend after an exciting half summer or attended as freshmen for a day and could see yourself walking our halls. Some of you were brave and joined us all on your own or later as a transfer student and had to adjust very quickly to full-time in-person prep with our many schedules, rules, 
and events. The middle of your high school career was interrupted with pandemic and quarantine, virtual classes, concerts, and masses, canceled games, and postponed seasons. Some of you I grew to know through virtual culinary club or the virtual sleep out to bring awareness to team homelessness. We did the best we could. As a result of your experiences, I think your class took advantage of the ability to show up your senior year. Through your collaborative work in our classrooms, your commitment to your studies, your successes in robotics, Model UN, theater, your mission drive win, your diversity board events, donations to the Ukraine, revived Kairos retreats, on the stage, in the stands, on the field, and abroad. I am so happy you were able to come together again. You showed up to be a part of it all. You have gone to all the classes, written all the papers, taken all of the tests, formed your last sculpture, played your last game as a St. Peter's Prep remoder, marauder, although I know some of you still have a few good about it's okay, it's okay. Um, it is now time to move on. When you do, you can choose to be a class leader like Nasir Wimberly or John Freeman, be hardworking, like Jack Burke or Max Swiner. Plan ahead, like Diego Montolvo and Mark Elkamos. Politely manage up, like James Popadik and Kasper Chajnowski. Be fast, like Fitzroy, win like Mark. Be in it to win it, like Sam Galano. Be quietly enthusiastic, like Daniel Gayed and Frank McAndrews. Cook pizza like Jacob C. and Tody Guarquilla. Bring the joy to others like Connor O'Flanagan and Chris Gliotto. Be individuals like Michael Benkovitz and Chris Benkovitz. Thank you for showing up to class on test days. Thank you for rolling along with a lesson that didn't quite work out. Thank you for correcting my arithmetic mistakes but many of you know enough calculus now to understand why sometimes I stare at one plus one. <laughs> Thank you for joining Ms. Durante and I on the dance floor at prom and for leaving senior games to the next classes. Thank you for contributing to the blood drive for my former student, John Stemkowski, class of 2010, who we lost to cancer this year. Some losses are more profound than others. And I'd like to call to mind loved ones we um, have been called home to God over the past four years. My last message to the prep class of 2022 is your adult life belongs to you and no one else. You are the person who will live out your own unique and beautiful life. You do not need to worry about pleasing your parents, your friends, your classmates, teachers or coaches with the life you build for yourself. And you will build this life for yourself, one decision at a time. God bless you and congratulations, Prep Class of 2022. Thank you, Ms. Stark. Charlie Rooney was a member of the prep faculty for 38 years, retiring in 1985. The father of two prep graduates, Mr. Rooney embodied all that makes a prep teacher memorable. Scholarship, humor, dedication, dependability, and a deep grounding in Ignatian principles. 
And so it is fitting that we honor his memory today with the Charlie Rooney Award to our faculty speaker, Ms. Erin Stark. Thank you. Each day, the tireless work of our faculty and staff helps make PrEP such a wonderful place. Each member of our faculty and staff has left our students with memories, influences, inspiration that will stay with them forever. On behalf of the class of 2022, I ask that all members of the faculty and staff please stand. Let's recognize them, thank you. I also offer special recognition to members of the prep faculty and staff who have devoted 20 years or more service to St. Peter's Prep and have earned the Bene Marenti Award. In a moment, I will ask our Bene Marenti awardees to stand as I call their names and the years they first began their service at St. Peter's Prep. And please remain standing until the last name has been called. Mr. Rocco Tejada, 2021. Mr. John Fensick, 2021. Ms. Ella Glazer, 2000. Ms. Rosalie Romano, 2000. Mr. Steve Kaslowitz, 1999. Mr. Anthony Verdi, 1999. Mr. Hugo Elo, 1997. Mr. Richard Peters, 1997. Ms. Mary Phyllis Lucretio, 1992. Ms. Diane McCabe, 1992. Ms. Grace Guillario, 1990. Mr. Alvin Saw, 1990. Myself in 1989. Mr. John Irvin in 1989. Mr. James Dundaro, 1988. Ms. Elizabeth Walsh, 1985. Mr. Rich Hansen, 1983. Mr. Jim Horan, 1974, and Father John Mullen, 1970. Congratulations. And today, today I am happy to welcome two new members of our staff, faculty and staff to this distinguished group who have collectively served our school community in myriad ways outside, inside and outside of the classroom and have individually modeled for us in ways seen and more often unseen what it means to be men for others. So I call forward Mr. Michael Fletcher who has served for 20 years as a teacher of religion, department chairperson, rugby coach, as well as a prep parent of Owen class of 2022. Mr. Michael Fletcher. Mr. Jim Hollywood, class of 1966, returned to prep 20 years ago after a successful career in business and has served as a teacher of math, department chairperson, as well as manager of our campus shop. Mr. Hollywood, please come forward. There's one more group here today who deserves thanks and congratulations for their part in making this day possible. I ask all parents and guardians of today's graduates to please stand. Commencement, commencement is not simply a rite of passage, but it is an acknowledgement of four years of success, of sacrifice, and of support. And parents and guardians of our graduates, you have entrusted to St. Peter's Prep your sons and PrEP has been blessed by this gift. More than anyone else, you are responsible for having provided them with the grounding, the direction, the spirit that have brought them to this joyous day. As their first and best teachers, 
I hope you take great pride in all that they have achieved. And graduates, understand with your hearts that true greatness is never achieved without love and support. And never forget that what you have achieved and what you celebrate today was realized through the love and faith of those who have supported you. So I'd ask our, fac our graduates and faculty and staff to acknowledge the parents of the class of 2022. Thank you and congratulations. In a moment, I will ask Ms. Epler and others to lead our graduates to the stage, one row at a time, to receive their diplomas. Graduates, when you reach the stage, please come to the center and stand at the marker, stand next to Dr. Gomez and Mr. McGovern, and wait for the photographer to take your photo, and then return to your seat. And you may meet Ms. Nordstrom here at the top of the stairs at this side of the stage. Dr. Gomez, I present to you the members of the class of 2022 and attest that they have successfully completed the course of studies of St. Peter's Prep and may be conferred diplomas of graduation. In a moment, as our graduates reach the stage, I will ask Mr. Caulfield and Mr. Morris to return to the podium in turn to call out names row by row. I ask all present please to hold your applause until each row of graduates has been recognized in return, as they return to their seats. Cum laude, Mark El Abdel Malik. Dermot Alvidrez. Arush Amalraj. Receiving his diploma from his father, Mr. Lloyd Ang, prep class of 1989, cum laude, Don Benjamin Ahm. Andrew Antigua. Receiving his diploma from his father, Mr. Mark Armstrong, prep class of 1983, cum laude, Mark Armstrong. Brian Arredondo. Receiving a gold award in French, magna cum laude, Jason Schreiber. Gerig Shannon. Receiving a silver award in science and receiving his diploma from his grandfather, Mr. Martin Shanahan, prep class of 1963, magna cum laude, Connor Bancudi. Cum laude, Christopher Barilla. Magna cum laude, Dane Barnes. Cum laude, Stephen Bassler. Mark Francis Belza. Cum laude, Christopher Bankovitz. 
cum laude, Michael Bankovitz. Congratulations. Zachary Benish. Cum laude, Raul Bernal. Cum laude, Sean Bimdas. Receiving a silver award in history and a gold award in Italian, magna cum laude, Matthew Blumgren. Receiving his diploma from his father, Mr. Joseph Boccasini, prep class of 1985, and his grandfather, Mr. Eugene Graziano, prep class of 1952, cum laude, Thomas Boccasini. Cum laude, Rohan Borges. Connor Borelli. Cum laude, Luke Bradley. Magna cum laude, Taylor Brengens, not pres present. Shea Buckley. Nicholas Buendia. Mario Builes. Matthew Burgers. Cum laude, Jack Burke. Thomas Burton. Antonio Calderon. Congratulations. Cum laude, Darwin Capani. Alex Cassion. Joseph Catalanello. Receiving a gold award for history and receiving his diploma from his father, Dr. Nicholas Cerevalati, prep class of 1990, magna cum laude, Augustino Cerevalati. Great job. Great job. Nice Philip Chiavello. Chiavello, sorry. <laughs> Receiving his diploma from his father, Mr. Paul Ciappello, prep class of 1989, cum laude, Nicholas Ciappello. Cum laude, Casper Chernowski. Peter Cifarelli. Elliot Clark. Warren Clark. Noah Cologne. Receiving his diploma from his brothers, Roberto, prep class of 2011, and David, prep class of 2016, cum laude, Raul Cortinas. Cum laude, Ryan Cotter. Dylan Coyle. Luke Cruciani. And cum laude, Justin Koo. Congratulations. Cum laude, Christopher Cugliari. 
Robert Cunningham. Matthew Dagestanley. Receiving his diploma from his father, Mr. John Villanueva, prep class of 2003, cum laude, Tyler Dairo. Cum laude, Salomon Dow. Cum laude, Samuel Dow. Joshua David. Matthew DeSopo. Magna Cum Laude, Irenaeus Diakos. Roger Diaz. Receiving his diploma from his grandfather, Mr. John Barabbas, prep, cla prep class of 1955, cum laude, Charlie Dino. Magna cum laude, Joseph Dirks. Liam Doherty. Cum laude, Adam Dominguez. Cum laude, Christopher Duane. Receiving a gold award in visual arts, ex aequo. Magna cum laude, Blaze Edwards. Congratulations. Receiving a gold award in English and a gold award in Mandarin, magna cum laude, Logan Elliott. Cum laude, Mark El Cuomos. Ahmed El Shanawi. Cum laude, Dylan Espiritu. Anthony Farinas. Magna cum laude, James Farkas. Receiving a silver award in Latin, magna cum laude, Andrew Fernandez. Ulysses Faraz. Aiden Ferreira. Kenneth. Ferris. Raphael Fiel. Enzo Fiori. RJ Fiori. Jack Fisher. Cum laude, Francis Lewis Flores. And Elvin Frazier, congratulations. John Freeman. Cum laude, Rory Freeman. Receiving his diploma from his father, Mr. Fred Galano, prep faculty member, Samuel Galano. Logan Gallivan. Daniel Guyed. Jack Giatino. Aiden Gill. Thank you, 
Magna Cum Laude, Christopher Liapo. Salvatore Grasso. Landers Green. Cum Laude, Sydney Green. Joseph Grimaldi. Cum Laude, Patrick Grew. Totti Guarquila. Filippo Biagio Guido. Cum Laude, Abdul Rahman Haider. Congratulations. Daniel Halligan. Receiving a gold award in creative writing, cum laude, Joseph Henry. Magna cum laude, Simon Haidas. Cum laude, Lucas Yurtberg. Russell Hugo. Ori Itzak. Lucas Jimenez. Nelson Jimenez. Tomer Johnson. Aiden Carpusis. Tyler K. Receiving a silver award in English and a gold award in German, magna cum laude, Brian Keeley. Edward Kelleher. Christian Kramer. And Jacob Ladignan, congratulations. Jacob Landera, receiving a silver award in visual arts, cum laude, Ryan Lawler. Christian LeCount McClanahan. Fitzroy Legister. Paul Lefkowitz. Magna Cum Laude, Marco Lemek. Felix Latini. Andrew Lee. Tyler Lingham. Jason Love. Magna Cum Laude, Gage Luckin. Receiving a gold award, award in vocal music, Cum Laude, Cyril Maliekel. Cum Laude, Aiden Mancha. Corey Martins Mangerere. Cum Laude, Brandon Maniego. Congratulations. Cum Laude, Julian Mariscal. Cum Laude, Nicholas Marusic. Magna Cum Laude, Nicholas Matos. Cum Laude, Thomas Matos. 
Tag Mosset. Cum laude, Frank McAndrew. Receiving a gold award in science, magna cum laude, James McLean. Maurice McLaughlin. Magna cum laude, Marek Mitskiewicz. Keith Miles. Stan Moto. Magna cum laude, Diogo Montalvo. Cum laude, John Morrison. Anthony Moridi. And Dylan Mulholland, congratulations. Cum laude, Jonathan Muller. Magna cum laude, Matthew Muller. John Mwemba. Eliza Natera. Magna cum laude, Jack O'Donnell. Cum laude, Connor O'Flanagan. Juan Obando. Andre Oben. Malcolm Watara, not present. Alfred Pacheco. Cum laude, Gaetan Parapinto. Alex Parada. Joseph Paris. Receiving a gold award in Spanish, ex aequo, magna cum laude, Joshua Pascal. Christopher Pavia. Congratulations. Cum laude, Chase Pease. Nicholas Policio. Cum laude, Andres Pena. Diego Pena. Eric Perez. Cum laude, Mateo Petito. Zane Phillips. Cum laude, Giuseppe Pidi. Sebastian Pierre. Cum laude, Jeremiah Polanco. Christopher Ponchek. Receiving a gold award in Spanish, ex aequo, cum laude, James Papadick. Avery Powell. Mark Preto. Receiving a silver award in math, ex aequo, and receiving his diploma from his brother, Mr. Robert Puhak, prep class of 2016 and faculty member, magna cum laude, Alexander Puhak. Congratulations. Magna cum laude, Devin Quinn. Patrick Ragno. Jake Rango. Nicholas Rappa. 
receiving his diploma from his godfather, Mr. Nathan Jackson, prep class of 1997, Ellis Reed. Christian Ramache. Magna Cum Laude, Sebastian Ramache. Jonathan Reverendo. Cum Laude, William Rial. Cum Laude, Lucas Riancho. Ethan Richards. Receiving a gold award in instrumental music, Nicholas Rocks. Lucas Rodriguez. Nicholas Rodriguez. Bryce Rooks. Congratulations. Cum laude, Jason Rowe. Cum laude, Uri Rosenblit. Magna cum laude, Benjamin Rubin. Cum laude, Zachary Rubin. Receiving a gold award in math, a gold award in Latin, and a silver award in religion, magna cum laude, Gabriel Russo. <laughs> Ryan Rapinski. Matthew Skepkowski. Receiving his diploma from his father, Mr. Joseph Scherer, prep class of 1986, James Scherer. Magna cum laude, Brandon Schimmel. Cum laude, Joshua Schulman. Matthew Serrano. Magna cum laude, Nima Sherpa. Daniel Silva. Samuel Slade. And cum laude, Marcelino Solomon. Congratulations. Receiving his diploma from his father, Mr. Pietro Solecino, prep class of 1988, cum laude, Alexander Solecino. Cum laude, Miles Sorbino. Receiving a gold award in visual arts, ex aequo, cum laude, Adrian Sotomayor. Cum laude, William Streich. Michael Sachsiki. Magna cum laude, Ayush Suri. Receiving a silver award in math, ex aequo, magna cum laude, Brian Tarnopolsky. Joshua Torriello. Ryan Field. Lawrence Toller. Cum laude, Batu Tomrak. Receiving a gold award in religion, Jason Toindo. Now that's impressive. Jacob Seth. Yeah. Magna cum laude, Joseph Vasquez. Yeah. Congratulations, Ethan Veloso. Congratulations. Magna cum laude, Antonio Vivero. 
Magna Cum Laude, Griffin Wagner. Joseph Weiss. Davis Welsh. Charles Wesley. Magna Cum Laude, Kevin Whitworth. Alfonso Williams. Elijah Wilson. Emmett Wilson. Cum laude, Nasir Wimberly. Magna cum laude, Tyler Wong. Aiden Wright. Alexander Zonic. Yariel Zuniga. And cum laude, Maximilian Zwiener. Congratulations. Gentlemen, welcome to the club. Let's give it up for class 2022. And it's a great club to be a part of, I, I promise. So thank you to all for being a part of this long and glorious tradition of celebrating all that we are as the St. Peter's Prep community. Then, now, always. And gentlemen, you did it. Through all the long days filled with maybe a long commute, and practice, and homework, and tests, and papers, and wins, and losses, and some anxieties, and some mistakes, and of course a lot of laughs, and an awful lot of laughs and joy. All of that has helped you to acquire this. The ability to reason, to articulate, to discern, to understand, to create, to evaluate, to forgive, to ask for forgiveness, to prioritize, to pray, to find a prep brother, especially on crutches so you could use the elevator, to conjugate a Latin verb, to decipher train schedules, to advise a freshman on where to find Moriarty, Mulry, Hogan, Shalou, and you've hopefully learned to love more deeply. And maybe most of all, you've acquired some best friends for life. And when I look back to me, probably the best part. As you well know, acquiring all this at times is exhausting, absolutely exhausting. And I hope that you realize that it was through the exhaustion of giving your best that you brought true beauty into the world and consequently gave glory to God, trying your best as a form of prayer. And I hope that's a part of you now. And of course, it wasn't just your exhaustion, right? As we shared earlier, parents, of course, were grateful for you. And this day is for you as well. A chance to recall and celebrate, perhaps in disbelief, how your son has grown, not just since first steps into prep, but since those first steps ever. I'm sure you can picture those steps, as well as that first smile and the first time he looked you in the eyes and said, I love you. You have watched this small child, this small kid, grow up on a unique, wonderfully uneven, and completely unpredictable timetable. And somehow, somewhere along the way, he grew up. But he's still yours, then, now, and always. And as you know, it's pride and glory that now always for our 150th year. And obviously, my uh, fellow uh, alums, obviously when you think of your prep experience, you have a then and a now. 
that's easy to, uh, to recall. Your always is just starting, like right this second. The always is starting. And to so many of us, the always, the always means the most. It's almost like, surprise, the always has what it's always been about. The prep experience does not just help to find the person you are, but it motivates you to constantly, constantly refine the person you will be for the rest of your life. And I hope as you continue this lifelong refinement, the refinement of your mind, heart, soul, and character, I hope you make one great discovery. I hope you discover the holy boldness and sacred madness inside of you. That holy boldness and sacred madness that stirs your soul to love and to dream. The one that creates an unstoppable dream inside of you that puts a dent in the universe when it comes true. I'm so grateful for you. I love you. Then, now, always, welcome to the club. Let's go pray. Thank you. Okay, so for as long as I can remember, and, and probably a lot longer, every prep graduation has ended the same way, and that's with the singing of our alma mater, Pride and Glory. And I'm proud to continue that tradition with you. So first, let's, uh, let's invite the members of the class of 2022 to please stand. Yeah. Yep. And then I would invite all the other St. Peter's Prep alumni in the audience to please stand. All the Prep alumni, please stand. And then, of course, I ask our terrific, terrific faculty and staff and coaches and board members to please stand. Thank the good Lord. I'm not going to sing this, but Cyril is going to lead us in this uh, in this song. It is our pride and our glory, old in song and in story. And we cherish your name, and we love your fair fame For the days of long ago And we, your sons, will be loyal To St. Peter's so royal May your banner still guide us Wherever we go It is a story of gladness with no shadow of sadness Our years spent with you, St. Peter, so true And we hold our hearts, love yet And through the years we will treasure With a joy beyond measure The gifts you have given We shall never forget Let's just grab a seat. Almost done. Thanks so much uh, to Searle for uh, a great rendition. I'd also like to thank a bunch of people for, for today. Is our microphone a little quiet from that singing? Maybe just turn up a little bit. So I'd like to thank Mr. Chris Caulfield, Ms. Emma Bagg, Ms. Emily Fensick, Ms. Barita Singleton, Ms. Mary Phyllis Lucretio, Ms. Dalma Santana, Mr. Mike Duran, and above all, Miss Grace Galerio for coordinating a great, great ceremony. So if you could please join me in thanking them. And also let's thank Kevin Albers and the operations staff for getting all the chairs ready to go and drying everything off and, and getting us ready for today. Okay, before, before Father Mullen leads us in our closing prayer, I'd like to do one more thing today. I would like to recognize a long-serving member of the prep community. 
This time I would ask Mr. Jim D'Angelo from, from the prep class of 1985 to please stand. The Insignis Award was established to recognize the type of person that St. Ignatius Loyola would have wanted to draw to the Society of Jesus. As quoted on the plaque, Ignatius writes, those who wish to give greater proof of their love and distinguish themselves in whatever concerns the service of the eternal Lord and King of all will not only offer themselves entirely for the work of the kingdom, but will act against anything that would make their response less total. This award is conferred occasionally at the discretion of the president or the principal and is PrEP's highest honor for members of our faculty and staff. In the fall of 1982, a young man from Danforth Avenue in Jersey City transferred to PrEP as a sophomore and took to life at Grandin Warren with the zeal of a convert. As a participant in our first ever international exchange in 1985, he developed a love for the language and culture of Germany and a passion for global education that would shape his life and, as it would happen, countless others. He joined the PrEP faculty in 1989 and as a German teacher, language department chair, moderator for the Petrock and TV studio, and of course the German exchange, not to mention a tireless supporter of the MS retreat program, his impact at PrEP was undeniable. And that was just the first half of his career. In his 15 years as PrEP's principal, the longest anyone has served in that role in our 150 year history, Mr. D'Angelo has overseen tremendous growth in the breadth and depth of our academic offerings, rededicated PrEP to our nation identity and mission, modeled the culture of collaboration and mentorship for our faculty and staff, strengthened and multiplied our global connections, revolutionized our use of educational technology, steered our academic life through the challenges of Sandy and COVID, and represented PrEP with pride to his peers from fellow Jesuit and independent schools. So for all of this, and Jim, your tireless commitment to Jesuit education, I'm happy to bestow this insignis award on Mr. Jim D'Angelo from the class of 1984, 85. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you. Okay, Father Mullen's going to bring us home with a closing prayer. Father Mullen. Thank you, Dr. Gomez. Jeremiah the prophet tells us something of God's desire for each one of us. He writes, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And so we pray. God of hope and new beginnings, send down your spirit upon these prep graduates. Be one step ahead of them as they plan the road that lies ahead. Make them young men of integrity, faithful to the traditions of their faith and to the ideals of St. Peter's Prep. Fill them with the courage to make right choices that are just and merciful. And as we continue to see the suffering of the people of Ukraine, bless our graduates with generous <clears throat> and compassionate hearts so they, can, <clears throat> so they can be the hands that reach out to those in need and be the voices of hope that seek the ways of peace. In their love, help them to continue to appreciate the differences among cultures and races as multicolored manifestations of your all-encompassing love, even as we feel the tragic effects of racism in our own country. Give them a love of your creation so they embrace the stewardship of our planet which you have entrusted to our care. We make our prayer to your God <clears throat> who delights in all people, O oh God beyond all names, who we call Father, Son, 
and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father Mullen, and thank you all for being here. And with this, I can say the 144th graduation exercises of St. Peter's Prep are concluded. Thank you. Have a great day.